Unfortunately, this urinary bladder slide is really pale, and I think they're all that way. So it's kind of hard to orient. Um, the only thing he's going to have you identify are the epithelium, the transitional epithelium lining the lumen of the bladder, and then the muscular wall around the bladder, which is called the trusor muscle. Um, the trusor muscle is smooth muscle, and it's found in three layers. The detrusor muscle is basically what causes um, the contraction of the urinary bladder to eject the urine during urination. Um, most of what I'm seeing here is detrusor muscle. This is the outer surface of the urinary bladder. You can see there's a little wispy serosa hanging off the outer edge right there. But all this stuff in here is a mixture of muscle and connective tissue, and so that's all detrusor muscle. The lumen is kind of collapsed. Now, at first blush, this had me kind of confused because it looks like a star. Stellate shaped lumen is what you see when you look at ureter. This isn't the slide of ureter. But as I scanned around and was able to track the lumen, I could see it come out onto this free surface right here. So what's happened is that the tissue's kind of been bunched up and folded in on itself. But all of that will have transitional epithelium lining it. Now, if you remember way back from first quarter, transitional epithelium is designed to stretch and then elastically recoil as the bladder fills with urine and then it's voided. Um, the best examples of transitional epithelium at the surface will have kind of a scalloped or pillowy edge. I don't know how lucky we're going to be on this slide seeing that. Yeah, and there's debris on the surface of this in some areas, which is kind of going to make it more difficult. Um, see, as I use my fine focus on the right-hand side where that epithelium is, there appears to be a dark band right at the surface. That's debris. The actual cell membrane is under that in this area, running right through here. And in this area between these two cells, you can see there's a little bit of that pillowy or scalloped effect. It's not real good though. Ideally, what we would want to see is a long stretch of pillowy or scalloped edge. So it looks like this particular slide's not the greatest for transitional epithelium. There, there's a little bit of that on the left hand side there, but it's not good. sections through a single urinary bladder. Eh. You can kind of see it on the left hand edge there. Again, there's a little bit of debris at the surface that's kind of occluding that, but it, it's not a perfectly linear edge. It's kind of subtly scalloped, kind of pillowy. There it's better. It's actually a lot better right there if you more than debris. So again, focus on the surface of the cell. See how it's scalloped right there? That's closer to a textbook representation of transitional epithelium. It's not great, but it's the best I've seen so far on this slide. And that's, you know, he'll try and find you something that looks good on the practical if he asks this question. So transitional epithelium you find in the urinary bladder, the ureters. Um, you would also find it in uh, the calyces and the renal pelvis because they have some stretch and recoil that goes on there. So all of those locations will be lined with transitional epithelium. This is also an impermeable epithelium, so things can diffuse across it, which is a good thing because at this point, urine is in the lumen, which contains hydrogen ions, acids, lots of wastes, detoxified drug compounds, etc. You don't want those diffusing back into the tissues after the kidney has worked so hard to get rid of them. So an impermeable epithelium. 
questions about this slide, you guys? Again, the good thing is there's only two things to identify. If you know you're in the bladder, it's either going to be the truser muscle or the transitional epithelium. All right, you guys, that wraps up.